Welcome back to the channel today. I thought I'd do a review on this HyperTuff 77 piece electronic repair kit. I talked about this in my last video, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the card in the top right of your screen. But yeah, as you know, this channel is about saving you money, whether that's in doing repairs or just on some reviews on items that I've seen and why I think that they're a good addition to your collection. So without further ado, let's talk about this set. So <clears throat> I guess I should talk about why I bought this set. And as you know, with uh, more and more electronic devices coming into our lives, whether that's cell phones, gaming consoles, and other things, these small screws and other sort of fasteners are becoming more and more ubiquitous. So because of that, and some of the repairs that you've already seen on this channel, I like having a set like this handy so that I don't have to worry if I have um, a certain screwdriver bit or whatnot. So that's why I bought the set is, you know, I've been running into a lot of these things, like for example, on my Wii um, that I've been working on, uh, I've been using these wide tip bits a fair amount. Um, additionally, if you followed uh, my videos on the iPhone screen repairs, you know penelope screws are paramount to that repair. So just with that, this set has more than paid for itself in the repairs that I've been able to do with it. So let's get in a little bit more detail about this set. So I guess before we talk about the very specific things, I should also mention for the price point on this set, I was also convinced to get it. In thinking about it, right, these small screws that you'll be working with with the screwdriver like this, the screws are smaller and usually not torqued too much. Now I wanna stop there before I say that they're not always not torqued highly. Sometimes they are very difficult to get out. However, for the most of the work that you'll be doing with these, usually these screws are not too difficult. So that's why I wasn't too, too concerned about the quality maybe of these, uh, you know, of Walmart tools. So with that said though, it is important to be careful when you are working with electronics regardless, but especially maybe with a set that might be a little bit lower on the quality spectrum, especially for y'all that work with electronics daily who might not use a set like this. Um, but you know, for occasional use and you know, if you're careful and not stripping out or camming out the screws or the tips, honestly, I think you can definitely get by with the set, especially at the price point. So right, when I bought this set, it was $14.88, so about 15 bucks, which is a little pricey for, I guess, a Walmart tool, but honestly, for the selection, which we'll go over here momentarily, I would say that, that is a, that's a fair price. Interestingly enough, they also sell a, a set in green, and it is a little bit cheaper, but I was not able to find it, and personally, I like the green better, but just so you're aware, if you don't want to spend the $15, there is a, a, a cheaper alternative, I guess, if you will. So yeah, so again, you know, these screws are very common and even in and my towel rack video, which I'll also share in the top right corner, even that one had a, a slotted screw that I had to get out with a precision screwdriver. So it's not like it's just unique to electronics. You can definitely find a use for these bits. So let's dive into the actual set. So we've talked about the price. We've talked about kind of the why that I got this set. Let's actually go through what it includes. Now it does say here on the back all the things that it includes and I'll maybe put a blow up of that on your screen so you can look through that or you can also check Walmart's website. But yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff here for the, the $15 that you're paying. So let's go through it. So obviously <clears throat> you have your precision screwdriver here. Um, nothing too fancy about this. Um, I'll probably just talk about pros and cons as we go through just while I think about them. One thing I have not liked about this set, um, the more I've used it, is the fact that this is a set length, right? These bits are all, uh, what, maybe an inch, inch and a quarter. So if you need to get something deeper as you're unscrewing uh, um, something, there's not a lot of uh, a freedom that you have. And more problematic than that is as you can see here, right, the bit goes in and then the shaft on the screwdriver is wider. So if you have a narrow hole that you need to get into, this might be problematic for you. And you saw that in my Wii Remote video where it was getting a little bit difficult to do the bottom two screws on the, the back of that remote. However, it did work, and honestly what I've done, and I don't know, you're probably not supposed to do it this way, I've taken some of these uh, mini sockets here just to make an extension. 
Now it doesn't hold it too well, but you know, it does the job. So I guess, you know, you can get around that issue, but that I think is a very big issue when it comes to working with uh, uh, electronics is sometimes the screws are not, they're re recessed or they're hidden. So it's helpful to have something that can reach. So that's one of my gripes about this is I wish for something longer or an extension of some sort. Additionally, something that I really do like about this is, you know, the swiveling top. It's really nice, especially like I said, when you're working with these small screws, right? You wanna make sure that you're putting a lot of downward force on whatever you're working on so that you don't strip out the screw. So that's the nice thing is you can push really hard here and still spin the actual shaft of the screwdriver independently. So I think that that, that is a nice thing. A lot of, I mean, honestly, a lot of precision screwdrivers do that, but you know, it's good that this follows suit with this uh, Walmart set. So I do like that and obviously, you know, it's comfort grip, so it's comfortable. So there's that. Moving on to the next thing, and also, of course, I'm also a organ, organization freak, so I do like how everything has its place. Pretty easy to put back. Um, next thing, of course, it comes with some precision pliers. They do have a little cover on them, which, you know, is nice. And, yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything too crazy to say. It is kind of nice how these are bent, so you can get into hard-to-reach places. And, you know, if you want to pry something, you know, the rounded edge here makes it so you can have some leverage. So, there's that. Coming down here, SIM card removal tool. Honestly, a paper clip works just as good, but, you know, it's nice that it has a dedicated tool that just helps you to remove a SIM card from your phone. Next thing down here, we have a um, suction cup for, you know, lifting the screen on something, as you saw in my iPhone repair videos, this one's, you know, these are paramount to uh, getting the screen off. We have a little, uh, almost a guitar pick prying tool. Uh, and of course, you know, the quality on this is not the highest that it could be. And that's one thing I w I'm not too happy about the plastic. I mean, I haven't used too much crazy force, but as you can see here, the plastic has already started to break and uh, get bent on this so you know it's not you know you can't expect this to last forever but I think the biggest selling point for me is the tips I mean granted these are pretty easy to come by but just know that you know these will wear out pretty quick and also something that I was noticing maybe it's just me I haven't measured this with a, a micrometer or anything it looks like these are all the same size on these three edges uh, some of the other ones that I've gotten from um, some iPhone specific r repair kits say that there are different gauges which is really nice because sometimes you have to pry you know different things and you have it only have a finite amount of space so I don't know maybe I just can't see well but it seems like these are all the same size going over we have two um, picks or prying tools excuse me personally I don't know why they give you two of the same size I mean I, it's nice to have two for sure because it's nice to put one under something while you can you know work with the other one but having them be the same size personally I would prefer to see something a little bit longer for example I'll show you here on my one of the iPhone kits I got I love this tool I mean it's plastic it's nothing fancy but I like how it has a tapered edge on one side and this pointed end at the other just to you know you know, multiple uses in one tool. And I would have liked to maybe see something like that um, rather than just two of these stubbier ones. But not the end of the world. And I, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I'll just mention it here specific or explicitly. I'm not sponsored by Walmart or HyperTough or anything like that. I just thought I'd, you know, give you an honest review since I've been using it for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time here. But anyway, next thing here. It comes with this demagnetizing and magnetizing bar. I do like this feature. I mean, granted, you don't need the special tool to magnetize and demagnetize a screwdriver a bit, but um, it's really nice to have this, especially when you're working with small screws, because sometimes it's really nice to have the magnetized feature so that you can pull the screw out and it won't fall on you. Um, but sometimes it's nice to also demagnetize, where let's say you're trying to maybe put a screw in and you know the screw keeps coming off the head and sticking to the side of the bit, it's nice to be able to demagnetize on command. So 
Um, not necessary, but I do think it is a really nice thing to have. Um, and also if you want to magnetize your tools, I'll put a video in the top right card that you can check out to do it without any special tools like this. But regardless, I think it is kind of nice to have it with this set. Now we can talk about the bits here. So there is, well, I guess maybe we'll start here. And pretty cool, these all hinge out like this. So, you know, you can see your bits really clearly, pull it out, and then you can put them back in and then have it fold down. So I like that there's no uh, interference. It's very easy to see from here the markings, you know, see if you need a wide tip, if you need a hex, if you need a Robertson, if you need a Penelope. Very easy to identify. Um, the nice thing too is fortunately the on the actual bits themselves, all I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll try and zoom in on it. You can see right there. So you can see it says Philip, and then double zero. So you know exactly that this goes right here in the double zero. So you know if you care about organization like that, it's really nice that you can you know have something to refer to on the actual bits to put them in the right place. So that is really nice. Um, Another dumb thing that kind of bugs me is with these, what is there, I think there's 61 bits that come with this, and then there's uh, eight mini sockets. So just speaking about the bits, it's weird and kind of annoying to me that um, this set comes, the 61st bit doesn't have a spot for itself. It actually is already you know put in with the screwdriver. So that is annoying that, let's say if you need to switch out a bit where you want to use whatever, this small slotted bit, you have to take out this bit, and granted, I guess you could put it in the open space, but really my issue is this one that, this Phillips that comes on the screwdriver doesn't have its own designated spot. So that kind of is annoying, but again, not the end of the world. I just worry about losing it or, you know, becoming problematic. So again, a really small thing, but just thought I'd put that out there. Um, let's see here. Another thing too that's really nice is the case. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but you know, it's gonna it's decent enough where it won't break right away. It's nice to have this all in one space and have the case, you know, reusable. And also, these magnets are pretty ro pretty robust, as you can see. Um, I mean, I guess the sockets came out after a little bit, but you know. It's not like they'll immediately fall out. So for what that's worth, you know, that is a nice feature that these will stay relatively in place. Um, you know, if they get moved around. So I think that's most of the thoughts that I had. Um, again, you know, for 15 bucks for 71 pieces or 77 pieces, I should say, you know, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this set. If this is what you do for, you know, your living, I don't know if it would be the best thing for you. But again, you know, for those occasional uh, occasional repairs, it's just nice to have an all-encompassing set um, and a nice case that will really get you through everything that you need. I, I really do like that about this set is it really does cover a lot of bases for a variety of things. Of course, there's always going to be a need for specialty bits and tools and whatnot. But I feel like this is a really good start to, you know, fixing things, whether it's your phone, whether it's gaming stuff, or whether it's just, you know, small random things around the house that use small, small bits. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to talk more about this set as I've used it more. But, you know, after the first couple months that I've been using this and the couple projects I've used it on, it's held up for a $15 tool. I really can't complain. Um... But yeah, if you have this set, please let me know your thoughts. If you have any uh, tips or advice, comments, things that you want to share, or maybe if you work with electronics for a living, you know, feel free to share your feedback. Again, it's not a perfect set, but I think really it can get you started. Comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. I really appreciate you watching, um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. I also thought it would be helpful to mention other options available. Um, granted, I haven't actually had any physical experience with these sets um, but again I just thought I'd put it out there in case you know it's spiked some interest or some research into other sets and this maybe might not be the, the right set for you 
So this first set here, I'll, I'll put it up here, is Harbor Freight. This one right now looks like it's going for 10 bucks, and you know, with the coupons out there, you could probably get it for a little bit less. Uh, this one comes with 30 bits, so it's a little bit less than this Hyper Tough one. However, I do like that it comes with an, both a rigid and a flexible extension, which is really nice to have, especially in tight places. And for what it's worth, it also has a magnifying glass, which is nice, seeing how as you're mostly going to be working on something that's small. My only cons to this is, you know, the case doesn't look too robust, so I don't know how it would hold up over time. Um, also, it doesn't look like the bits are actually labeled on the bottom, so I'm sure that over time, you know, they get out of place and it might be more time consuming to find the right bit that you're looking for. And of course, obviously, there's less bits than this hyper tough set where there's 61 this one only it has less than half of that um, so maybe if that's not the right set for you another set I found this one on Amazon I'll put that up here so this one you know it looks like it's on sale right now but it goes for 20 bucks regularly comes with 56 bit, bits so definitely more and it also has a nice flexible extension which I could definitely see as being handy however it doesn't look like there's any pry tools that come with it and of course, there's also less pieces overall, which, you know, and there's more, it costs more. So I don't know. Again, you know, this piece, this set might work for you. You know, I think it's really nice with all the trim and plastic tools that it has to help with like cell phones and the electronics, but might not be the set for you if you're not doing that kind of work. So hope that's helpful in making a decision.